Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 9, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And I should have basically followed my own analysis yesterday and uh, uh, sold into this because we had uh, quite a big fall today. And uh, most of this, of course, is that we have a market that went completely out of control, as it usually does. And when a market goes out of control, it goes parabolical, poor than basically most of the cryptocurrency market, not just Bitcoin, uh, it tends to crash at some point. But the crackdown with that we have seen in the last uh, month and a half and uh, has really hurt this market. So this market is going to see more regulations. It is uh, That is only a matter of fact. And the idea that this market is uh, decentralized and so on, that it is kind of the Wild West, that is also today was completely debunked. It is not. So there's just going to be less and less difference between cryptocurrencies and normal fiat currencies. In the end, compared to this, it will be digital as we also have digital currencies are are basically our credit cards so yes so it it will probably hurt this market a lot going forward but uh, still the technology is there and uh, technology is uh, basically far superior to uh, many other uh, older systems when transporting uh, transferring uh, transferring capital so at this current stage, we are trading at the 32,763 and uh, we are approaching 30,000. Uh, 30, that is going to be a game changer for this market. You see that we hit it right there and then bounced quite aggressively. So people were putting uh, orders right around this area. We're expecting it to hit this and then bounce uh, up to the upside. But we continue to fall, rallied, rallied, and we are hitting the uh, hitting um, the twenty exponential, which is offering quite a lot of resistance. Uh, actually, a lot of resistance, and uh, it looks like at this point that we are going to test the thirty thousand yet again. And if that breaks, then we are looking at twenty thousand. That will happen very rapidly because people are most anticipating. Uh, if this breaks it, then this will basically drop towards 20,000. And we could see an absolutely enormous uh, sell-off. Uh, uh, just keep in mind that uh, 20,000 was the previous all-time highs back in, in 2017. People were were astounded that when we broke 20,000, that uh, this just absolutely went uh, bunkers to the upside. So we just see this move here compared to this move here so uh, a lot of people bought into into this area and uh, when it starts crossing there then people are most likely going to lo start losing uh, quite a lot of money and then we'll uh, bail from this market and then it will have a probably a bigger crash than uh, than probably should have uh, have seen but uh, at the moment we are still in the weekly chart still trading above the 50 moving average and uh, at 32,763. Look at the daily chart again. We can see that the technical leaders for, for this market are looking fairly dreadful. MACD is still negative territory going to cross the signal line if this continues. I can see the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well, on the, on the edge of being oversold. So we were, got fairly overstretched here, got uh, way past the uh, Bollinger Band, and also approached 30,000 there for we see this bounce here. But even though we rally from here, 20 exponential will most likely offer quite a lot of resistance, and then it will break further down. So we could go up and break down and just continue that way. We'll most likely also have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average, and that usually is what we call a golden crossing. And um, last time we saw that was uh, around, we can see it roughly around here. So this is back in May 2020, and we have stayed above, or the 50 moving average have stayed above the 200 ever since. And this kind of is 
could be the end of this bull run if we uh, see this crossing of the 50 moving average and the 20 and the 200 moving average. So we could see this drop towards 20 and probably also 12,000 after that. So let's look at Ethereum. So also here, it is struggling at the 20 exponential. It broke down towards uh, 2,286. And the uh, technical negatives are all turning around here. Even the MACD are very bearish. So if we break below 2,184, then we're looking at the 200 moving average. Break up with the 200 moving average, then we drop really fast to the $1,000 level and then way below that. So. But this is looking more promising than, for example, Bitcoin. So, but uh, usually uh, Bitcoin is uh, the catalyst in the market and where it goes, um, most of the other cryptocurrency market goes as well. So, yes, let's look at ADA or Cardano. So Cardano did break towards uh, 1.39 and then rallied. And now we're right underneath the 50 moving average. We got really heavily rejected at the 20 exponential. Technical units are all turning around. So at this point, it looks like we are going back towards testing these previous lows here and heading back towards $1, which is right above the 200 moving average. Break below the 200 moving average. Then we can see drop towards the 0 0.5 and then way below that. Technical units are looking dreadful for Cardano. To the upside, Break about the 20 exponential, then we could head and test these previous highs here at this 1.85 and then the all time highs. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin is um, very similar to Bitcoin, doing horribly. We got really uh, rejected at the 200 moving average, which is not a good sign. We're mostly going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. Which means that the 20 exponential will most likely act as resistant if we are to rally from here and then we'll continue bringing down like we have seen in for example bitcoin 50 moving average is not that far off it will most likely travel this way and the 200 moving average this way and that will also mean that we'll have additional um, selling pressure here so or bearishness and uh, if you look at technical negatives we can see the macd is flat stochastic is bearish the cci is bearish and the rsi is also bearish at this current stage next target if we continue to fall is around 118 and then 100 and then well below that so let's look at neo so neo fell towards the 200 moving average and bounced from there so we done saw a very similar move um, only a few weeks ago, right here and also here, where we rallied back towards the 20 exponential. But we have tested it several times now, and we have been rejected ever since. We, if we break below the 20, 200 moving average, then we are mostly going to test uh, 35, and then 25, and then 20, and then below that. The beginning of this year, we were trading at $13, $14, give or take. So we went all the way up towards $139. So absolutely crazy move to the upside. But a crazy, uh, the move to the downside has also been just as crazy. If you look at technical news, we can see that they're all turning around and becoming bearish. So 20 exponential could move this way, cross the 200 moving average, 50 move this way and cross the 200 moving average. And then they will act as resistant and they will basically bounce and continue going lower. So let's look at Dash. So Dash is uh, very similar to the chart of Litecoin. Uh, we can see that the 200 moving average is offering uh, resistant and uh, we are at the bottom of the bullish band. If we break the previous lows here at 120, then we'll probably drop towards 100 and then well below that. In the beginning of this year, we were trading roughly at 82. So we're not that far off from the beginning of uh, this year. Technical negatives are all turning around and momentum is definitely to the downside. We will also have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 and the 50 will most likely cross around this area here and then we'll drop even further. So let's look at Dogecoin. So Dogecoin did fall towards 100 and 100, 
0 0.2908, uh, which it was basically an area of interest because we have found quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of, uh, sorry, quite a lot of um, support in this area here. So if we manage to break below there, and uh, especially the 0 0.25, then we will mostly look at the 200 moving average. 200, uh, 20 exponential and the 50 are quite far away from the 200 moving average. So, so we may see this go back and forth quite a lot before we head towards the 200 moving average. But we are struggling to get past the 50. We're struggling to get passing the 20. And usually that is not a good sign. If we look at technical negotiation here, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is the RSI. So momentum is definitely to the downside at this current stage. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And good luck and thank you very much.